Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover web application archive file also called a war file. So web application is a group of uh, HTML pages, JSP pages, servlets, resources and uh, source file. Uh, we can manage this web application as a single unit. Okay. So how we can manage this? We can uh, package this web application as a war file. So war file is nothing but a packaged web application. And uh, we can deploy this war file in the web server or uh, war file can be used to import web application in the web server okay and uh, if you notice uh, war file it has uh, web.xml okay so it is nothing but uh, uh, web deployment uh, descriptor uh, file okay so what is the use of uh, this file is it contains uh, deployment information okay next we will see the uh, structure of uh, war file Uh, now we will see the war file uh, directory structure. So here you can see the root folder. So under that uh, we can put uh, JSP pages, HTML pages and uh, applet classes. Okay. Directly you can put under this uh, root folder or you can create a JSP directory in that you can put uh, JSP pages and HTML directory in that you can put HTML pages. Like that also you can do. Okay. And uh, so under uh, this root directory there is another folder called webinf okay so under this webinf uh, we can place uh, uh, web.xml and uh, third party uh, deployment descriptor like uh, sun web.xml etc okay so web.xml is nothing but uh, uh, web application deployment uh, descriptor so it has uh, deployment information and information about this uh, web application okay and under webinf uh, the folder will be there so under that you can put uh, third party jar files like uh, hibernate jars servlet related jars uh, if you are using web service web service related jars so all those things we can put under the leaf folder so this will be included in the class path okay and uh, uh, next folder is classes folder which will become under the webinf folder so here you can put all the project related uh, classes like uh, business classes, DO classes, uh, domain classes. So all the server side uh, uh, dot class files we can put it in this uh, classes folder. Okay. And uh, next folder is uh, tax folder which will come under the web enough uh, folder. So here we can put uh, all the dot tag files uh, related to this uh, web application. Okay. So here we will see the directory structure of uh, war file. So this is the root folder. Uh, this can be accessed uh, publicly. So under that uh, we have uh, index.html. Uh, this is home page for this publication. And under this uh, root directory we have uh, webina folder. So webina folder and all the subdirectories are uh, not directly accessed uh, to the client. Okay. Uh, example of client is uh, browsers. But we can access uh, Webina folder and all the subdirectories in our uh, code. And under Webina, uh, we have web.xml, uh, which is nothing but uh, deployment descriptor. It contains information about the uh, uh, deployment. Okay. Also, it contains information about the uh, web application. And uh, under Webina, uh, we have classes folder. So in this classes folder, we can put all the project related uh, class files like uh, business classes, uh, domain classes, TO classes, etc. And uh, under web enough, uh, we have leaf folder. So here we can put all the third party related jars. Example, uh, hibernate jars. Uh, if we are using web service and uh, web service related jars. So all those uh, third party jars, we can put it here. Okay and uh, this jar files will be added to the class path at runtime and uh, uh, here we can create uh, some other directories where we can put uh, uh, xslt style sheets or uh, tags etc okay uh, here we can see uh, hello world app uh, var directory structure uh, so here you can see the root folder. So under that uh, we have index.html. 
so this is nothing but uh, home page for this uh, hello world application and uh, under this uh, folder uh, we can put uh, html uh, css uh, images uh, jsp files etc okay so you can create uh, separate uh, directories uh, like it is mentioned here like uh, for jsp one uh, jsp directory inside that put all jsp files and for html create html directory and put all html files there and for css create css directory under that put all css files and for images create the images folder and put all images there so like that you can do and under this uh, root directory hello world uh, app dot war uh, we have uh, web in a folder so under that uh, you should have uh, web dot xml so it is nothing but uh, deployment descriptor and also we can uh, put uh, vendor specific uh, deployment descriptor for example weblogic.xml okay and under webina folder we have classes folder so here we can put all the classes which are related to uh, this project okay so in this case uh, hello world server.class is there and you can put all business related classes do classes uh, domain classes etc in this uh, classes folder okay and under webina folder we have uh, leaf folder uh, here you can put all the third party related jars like uh, hibernate related jars uh, servlet related jars etc okay and uh, this should be included in the class path uh, when we start the server and uh, this is about uh, web application uh, archive file or uh, war file and uh, thanks for watching bye